This turkey recipe is based on how my mom made our family's Thanksgiving turkey. Growing up Puerto Rican, our main attraction at holiday dinners was always pork. But one year, my mom decided to use that same citrusy marinade for turkey. And trust me, it works. Marinating can help keep a large bird nice and juicy, even through the long cook time. All right, so the star of this dish is the marinade. It's super simple. All we have to do is add every single one of our ingredients and let the blender do its work. We're gonna start off with an onion, and all we're gonna do here is quarter it and peel it. Really, really simple. Next up, I'm using a red bell pepper. You can swap in green, orange, or whatever you'd like. Now it's time for the garlic. This wouldn't be a Puerto Rican recipe without a lot of garlic. So we've got 16 cloves. Now we're gonna add a cup of olive oil and that is gonna be enough to kind of get us started. And let it go. All right, that's already looking fantastic. Matches my dress. We're gonna add a little bit of cilantro. Now we're gonna add a little bit of that citrus. So for this, my mom growing up would use Seville oranges, which are also known as sour oranges, but they can be a little bit hard to find. So an easy swap is to just use two regular oranges and then the juice of one lemon. That way you get that beautiful tart citrus juice. Now we're gonna add some fresh lemon juice to it. All right, let's get that going again. We're gonna add some smoked Spanish paprika to this. It gives the bird a gorgeous color after it's roasted. That's what I love. We're also gonna do some black pepper and then salt. Always so key, this is what dials up the intensity of flavors. A quarter cup of kosher salt. I know, I know that sounds like a lot, but trust me, it's what you need for this bird. Amazing, how beautiful is that? So our marinade's done, gonna let that hang out for a little bit and move on to making our herb butter. So for this, we're using fresh oregano and thyme, but of course you can use any kind of herbs that you want. So for this, we're using a softened salted butter, which makes it really easy to incorporate those fresh herbs. You just kind of want to mix it up, mash the herbs in so it's nice and evenly distributed. And because you know I love my paprika, we're gonna add one tablespoon of it. This is gonna add flavor, but also color. Perfect. Okay, so now that the butter is prepped, it's time to bring out the guest of honor, our turkey. When you get a turkey at the store, it's usually wrapped up in plastic. You wanna get rid of that. For this, I like to use just some paper towel, just to pat it dry, get rid of any juices that are on the turkey. Some turkeys come with giblets and the turkey neck inside, so you wanna make sure you check. If it is there, you can just take that all out. Now we're gonna add the herb butter that we made. And I just like to go a little bit at a time, kinda slip it in there, and then use your hands to press it in and around that breast. I also like to add a little bit of the herb butter inside the cavity. Just kind of spread it around in there. The more butter, the more flavor. And this is the easiest part. All you have to do is pour that beautiful creamy marinade right over the bird. I like to do this on a rimmed sheet pan so that it holds any kind of overflow. All right. That is one beautifully marinated bird. Happy Puerto Rican Thanksgiving. <laughs> now I'm gonna prep a few vegetables to stuff inside the turkey cavity. This is gonna add a lot of flavor as the turkey roasts. So for this, I'm using an onion and all we're gonna do is quarter it. Don't worry about peeling. This is really just about the aroma. Take the garlic and we're just gonna cut it right along the side like this just to kind of release the garlickiness. I've got one orange to reflect those delicious citrus flavors in our marinade and one lemon. 
So what we're gonna do now is just stuff all of this inside the burr, just get as much as you can in there. What's great too is those citrus fruits, as they cook, the juices will kind of come out. So fantastic. Now just to kind of keep things under control as it cooks, keep things decent, we're gonna tie the legs a little bit. And this isn't a fancy truss, that's not my jam. I like to keep it really simple. And our final step before we put the bird in the oven is to add some broth and some fun flavors to the base of our roasting pan. I'm gonna do about three cups of broth and you can use any kind that you want, chicken, turkey, beef, whatever you have, and some orange juice to again, kind of pick up those beautiful citrus flavors in the marinade. Now we're gonna add some fresh herbs. Just kind of drop it in. This will sort of infuse that broth as it cooks. So it's like it's gonna have this beautiful herbal steam bath. A little aromatherapy for your turkey. Some fresh oregano and a few bay leaves. So now we're gonna cover our bird with some foil before it goes into the oven, just to kind of keep things nice and hot inside. We are gonna roast this turkey at 325 degrees for a total of four and a half hours. About halfway through, take the foil off and add another cup or two of broth to that roasting pan. Time to roast the turkey. <laughs> All right, so our turkey is fully roasted. I've got one little finishing touch. I like to glaze my turkey with some guava jam. This is Puerto Rican. We're going with those delicious tropical flavors and guava is one of my favorites. If you can't find guava jam, you can always use something like apricot or even raspberry. For this, I'm using a pastry brush. So you just dip it in and paint. Oh, guava is one of my favorite flavors. This is like the smell of home to me. I'm a sucker for that savory sweet combo. That looks amazing. Now to set the glaze, we're gonna pop it back under the broiler for just about three to five minutes, just until it's set. All right, so I always bring the beautiful bird out to the table on a platter, but after we say grace, I bring it back into the kitchen because nobody wants to carve a turkey on the table. You really want to be able to do it in the kitchen where you can have much more control over the bird. I like to start with the breast and I let the breastbone in the center be my guide, cutting slightly either to the left or to the right to get that beautiful piece of the turkey breast out. And so you just sort of run your knife along and then use your hands to pull the meat as you cut. Once you hit a point where you can't go any further, you can come in from the side and then pull that breast meat off. So you can just cut it against the grain on the bias, just kind of going in into beautiful little slices. So I always like to get a little bit of the skin with the meat. So good. I'm getting all of those flavors in that marinade, everything I want in my Thanksgiving turkey. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.